In this video I will show you how much power a fridge consumes from my own tests. And then I will show you how many solar panels you need to power the fridge 24 to 7. We will first figure out the daily consumption. Then the idle consumption of the inverter. This is what most people forget. In step 3 we size the battery and then calculate how many solar panels we need to charge the battery. Let's get started. First we have to figure out the power consumption of the fridge. My fridge is rated at 150 watts. It also has a small freezer section. The fridge compressor is not running 24 hours. The fridge doesn't run all the time. Normally it runs only for 50% of the time. Because compressor trips repeatedly due to thermostat temperature sensing or 8 hours in winter and 16 hours approximately in summer daily. So we calculate average time that is 12 hours of fridge running time. 12 hours times 150 watts equals fridge daily consumption is 1800 watts hours. In my case this is spot on. This can be different for your fridge. Depending on temperature and how many times you open the fridge. I open the fridge about 10 times a day in an environment of 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. If you are not sure, I recommend using an energy meter to measure the power consumption of your fridge. Do you know the power consumption of your fridge? Share it in the comments so other people can learn from you. We already know that a fridge uses 1800 watt hours daily. But what most people often overlook is the idle power from the inverter. You see, an inverter loses a bit of power, even when it doesn't run any loads. If we use a 1500 watt inverter, if you are using an inverter fridge then a 500 watt inverter is sufficient to run a fridge. But if you are using a non-inverter fridge of old technology then you should use a minimum of 1500 watt inverter to handle this load. So this inverter can use up to 20 watts of power continually called as self-consumption of inverter. That's a lot. That means we get an additional power consumption of 20 watts. 6 times 24 hours equals 480 watt hours. It depends on the brand and the size of the inverter. If we combine the fridge power consumption and the inverter idle consumption. A daily power consumption of 1800 watt hours plus 480 watt hours equals 2280 watt hours. It is approximately equal to 2.3 units of electricity. Now we can calculate how big of a battery we need. Watt hours per day. If you like the video so far, consider clicking the like button. We know that we have a daily consumption of 2280 watt hours per day. But what happens when the sun doesn't shine? You need to add some days of autonomy. That is the days without sun or cloudy weather. This means that when the battery doesn't get charged properly, we are going to use lithium batteries because they are cheaper in the long run and gives more backup time efficiently. We should use lithium batteries from 10 to 90% state of charge to extend their lifespan. Daily consumption is equal to 2280 watt hours and average peak sun hours is equal to 6 hours. 24 minus 6 is equal to 18 hours. It is the runtime of fridge on battery. For a single 12 volt battery we have to divide 2280 by 12. That's equal to 190 ampere hours. Or approximately equal to 200 ampere hours. That's a lot of batteries. If you use a 12 volt battery, you need a 200 amp hour battery. If you use a 24 volt battery, you need a 100 amp hour battery. And for a 48 volt battery, you need a 50 amp hour battery. We know how big of a battery we need to run the fridge. And now for the moment you came here for the amount of solar panels you need. I recommend using a 48 volt battery because your wires and your charge controller will be cheaper. We have to recharge our battery in one day. Depending on the location, you will have an average number of sun hours. We can see that Houston, Texas has a minimum of 3.5 sun hours during winter. We have to size the system based on the worst case scenario. And that is the month of December with the least amount of sun hours. In winter there are 4 to 6 sun hours only, like in December and January but in summer there are 6 to 8 sun hours in June and July. But we use here an average number of 6 sun hours. So we take the 2280 watt hour battery and divide it by 6 sun hours per day. This becomes 380 watts of solar panels. This might seem a lot. But remember that it's based on the average month of the year. Due to low solar efficiency we multiply it by 1.3. It becomes 494 watts. Approximately equal to 500 watts. 
So we should have to install 500 watts of solar panels to run a fridge but how much power is required to charge the battery? To charge a battery of 200 ampere hour multiply 200 by 12 then we get 2400 watt hours. 2400 divided by 6 sun hours. Then we get 400 watt hours. So we 400 watts of solar panels required to charge a 12 V 200 ah battery. Total solar power equals 500 plus 400 equals 900 watts. So for the best result you should use 1000 watts of solar panels minimum. 1000 watts solar panels can run a fridge and charge a 200 ah battery simultaneously. It may operate your fridge for 24 hours without using a grid power or gasoline generator. You can repeat all these calculations for your own fridge and location. And see what you come up with.